From the Eastern Panhandle of West Virginia, a Washington High School senior in Jefferson County could be headed to the nation's capital. As WDVM Stephen Cohen tells us, it will be quite an honor and a launching pad, perhaps, to a career in public service. She's one of only six in the entire state of West Virginia. Of course, Anna Elizabeth Walter is in the National Honor Society. She's their historian, after all. But she is a finalist for a $10,000 Hearst Foundation scholarship to go to Washington this spring to get a front row seat to all three branches of government. Well, my parents actually instilled in me that, you know, to, in order to make policies about, you know, different things, you have to get the most perspective possible. So I hope health care is something I really wanted to impact. Anna is focused on a college education in the field of nursing. But what goes on in government at all levels is another passionate interest, and she will merge the two, perhaps as an elected legislator one day in her own right. Ellen Curry is a faculty advisor to Anna. I can see why she's interested in, in politics, to be um, a policy maker, you know, for, for our society. You know, she has a real passion for that. A passion that will have an impact, says Nicole Reed, principal at Washington High. She is just a person that I can see her doing great things in the future. She has that work ethic and that desire to, to create change in our community. That degree in nursing is her priority after graduating, but she'll be carefully following what's going on in Washington and in her home state, broad-minded enough to seek perspectives from office holders on both the left and the right. Um, I want to go back into politics with that knowledge in order to, you know, change things. Anna is the only student from West Virginia's Eastern Panhandle up for the two scholarships. Anna will know by early next month if she is one of the state's two finalists. Reporting from Charlestown, Stephen Cohen for WDVM 25.